Festival of Papua New Guinea is a big in our district. We are extremely happy to hold this press conference this afternoon right at the, the project side of the um, regional cocoa nursery for the Momase region being built by the cocoa board of Papua New Guinea. A partnership with the Department of National Planning, Department of Commerce, Trade and Industry, and of course the Yangu Sosa DDA uh, in my district. And the East Yangu LG, which is the whole strategy for this project. Just for the, the purpose of viewers, the Sipic Economic Zone was conceived when I was Minister for Commerce, Trade and Industry because the state had 9,500 hectares in this land called Kanauki that was acquired by the state in 1968. The bulk of the land is basically kunai grass that was used for hunting during the dry season. So despite the enormous agricultural potential of this land, it has been left purely as kunai grass from 68 all the way until the national government. The O'Neill Dior government saw the potential of this. When I flew the Prime Minister here, the former Prime Minister and we decided to embark on this important project. We have started with the building of the Mombasa Regional Cocoa Nursery, which you can see right here in front of us. This nursery being built by the Cocoa Board of Papua New Guinea will produce 2 million seeds of cocoa a year. It will have slightly bigger production capacity than the Karabat nursery, which the entire country has been depending on. All of a sudden, because of this project, our Papua New Guinea government will now increase our seedling by 100% because of this important project that is being built right here in our district. On 360 hectares, of the 9,500 hectares of state land here. The titles of this land is now held by KCH and its subtree company, Kumula Agriculture Limited. They are the owners of this land. And on the back of this state land, we've started this very important project. The nursery is very important because it will now provide seedling to all the farmers to increase cocoa production in our, our province and our region, including the Yangu Social District. As the country knows, the Yangu Social District is the biggest producer of cocoa beans in PCB. We produce last year 3,200 metric tons of cocoa, and we are by far the biggest uh, producer, and this nursery will complement our efforts to increase production by making available seedlings which my DDA will buy from the cocoa board and distribute free to our farmers who have learned to increase uh, their planting and production. The other interesting aspect of this project is with our Israeli friends who are joint venture partners in the Pacific chicken <laughs> grain and cocoa invasion project just up the road which we will be going to shortly they are going to try trial the first 10,000 or 10 hectares of cocoa and a new technology called drip feed technology, never tried in Papua New Guinea's history. Under this technology, they are going to use drip feeding to feed the cocoa rather than the normal nutrients from the soil. It has been trialed in Africa and South America and it's proven that under this technology, the cocoa yield in in increases by between three and 400%. Now we have mass land, mass land in civic plants. Can you just imagine what will happen to cocoa production in the country if we are able to trial the technology on our land and if, if it proves to be uh, very high, highly successful with the, the similar yields that they're experiencing in South America and Africa? Can you imagine the doubling and tripling of cocoa production, not only in civic but together as a country, we are going to increase the, pro the production of cocoa. This economic zone project would not have happened if it wasn't for the ordinary villages of Kwarabo village and Kinembo village who have been supporting us from day one. Today I want to acknowledge the former ward councillor who stood with the government to bring this project. 
I know we have critics on Facebook, but I want to tell you, none of these people have come and made any difference and contributed to our villages, our community, and our district, yeah. and our provinces. Yeah. They're only there to criticize, but they have nothing to offer. This project is transformational, it's catalytic, and it will transform this province, our district, and unleash the potential of the vast epic plants. Yes. We all talk about the potential of civic plants, but it is projects like this and initiatives like this and strong leadership with the support of our local communities that will start to make a difference. For the first time, we have permanent employment. All these mothers are working here. When we finish the chicken project, can you imagine 500 new jobs? These people have never seen power line. Now they've got power line. Good road. And very soon the company comes here, they'll start investing in the school. We'll improve the facilities, put in new health centers for these communities to benefit. It's time to stop the hotel on Facebook and get ready. What I want to do is allow Enoch to introduce himself and tell you why he stood behind the project when he was still the councillor and what this project means for the local people of Parukmo, Kinambo, and Jagimboya and what is, how do they see themselves benefiting from this project. Thank you, Enoch. Thank you. Uh... Minister. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Honorable Member for Yangur Sosia for his initiative to bring about such development like this, where Mibla has not been looking before. All Papa Blah Mibla, all he walking in the all give him ground, he goes state. Ding ding blong all, all he give him ground, he goes state, and more. All he talk about is Mibla like him stay in come up. Lo time lo colonial government. You know lo time lo Papua New Guinea. Only like him development he come up now only give him slag ground he colon government. Now now only expect him slag like government come up now no god. Only go lo some lo half point him walk he go go no god now only come back in now time government he come and stretching thing only talk here. Maybe give him ground. One lo half talk all before Papua New Guinea maybe lo start talk all same station station him over again station. Station and minimum any kind of development, commercial or one kind of development only like him must come up now, only benefit long. That's all you know been come up. Only make him leader after leader after over as a civic government, no one will come up. You go, you go, you go, you go in up, only looking more same. He come now big money, Mari Marina. Only make him one leader. He go and sell the parliament. No, I mean, I use him slag ground or some old papa, you give him a gona. I mean, start long blood time or say, me must come up in some blood development. I mean, come up in some blood development now. Now, me blood people benefit. Through true, me blood benefit. Me blood, you know, been benefitless like and way. My people and I, me head to one them district, young girls are saying by looking development through this project. So, me let talk or say, you know what politics here? You let politics. You politic want them, me and Bob let me blow no time, time long politic. Walk long him, and me helping people. Now people, me blow stop on them, and let's say development must come. Or say, now you know what politic lay here. Me blow like him, this long walk, no go finish. Me blow start to look him, change his penis. Long Facebook or one of them kind, and something blow outside. I don't know why old money come hide now, only go put him go. But I'm not here. I'm not looking for any spinach here. True, I'm a leader. Or same now, I'm not talking to people. People start to benefit from this. Or backside, I'm a local man, Mary Stop. Only any sample in camp in this long. This is a leader of the league system. So, man, you're a politic. Me blow no sabe. This long old man he talk talk against him project only no stop on the ground. Only stop when uh, Facebook Facebook goes. You come look him. Uh, public relation officer is la project or former council is la place. Now you talk to me like on Facebook number. Me talk to you why now you like on uh, Facebook. What is that wrong? People benefit me say. Suppose leader blow me blind fit and by bringing more come. So leader, me blow like it plenty. Me blow like it not blow services to me blow like it. This is how you can see companies. Plenty not blow to me blow like it. 
Suppose you not blow. Kisigam, kisigam, no people believe by benefit. No politics layer. Yeah. Continue the project. People believe and join business. People believe and must finish. One blood, two blood man, you know blood is like blessed. Me blood no recognize you as a citizen player. Yeah. You stop out now, you can see one something and go talk to him, you German man. <laughs> Suppose you like send some place, stop here and send some place. True lay, Erika. Thank you. I think I'm the son. Me blood like looking, send his place like blessed. Me blood no like talk to the son. Success with government. Government after government, me blood no look on the sand in. You go in a big money, give me blood on the leader where I'm going to send some place. I'm the son. Anybody. Um, currently, we've got six plan necessary. I'm finished. Now, I'm going to go to the local 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 November, the launching time, six plan necessary by fully filled and planted. I'm by about 500,000. By April, we've got that ready to distribute the local farmers. Online, we've got Israel. Narba six plan I'm by online. Uh, same time, I'm one house block manager. I'm Moklong, online building staff. Shared office, I'm close to complete now. By end of this month, I'm should complete now. So by next year, then worry, I'm with full swing operation. Original moments and necessary, I'm operate now. So manager, I'm on the ground. All workman, very low place. All back, I'm work. I'm over 100 plus man, very by work. Here is the project. So by January next year, I'm full swing. I'm operational. Thank you. All right, thank you, uh, Coco Bob. Uh, under the plan for the nursery, we are going to have 12 um, sheds in order to reach the 2 million seedling a year. So we are talking to Coco Bob to make sure we must continue and complete the tour before the launching. And we must talk, sir. Eh? We intend to bring the Prime Minister down here to launch this uh, project together with the chicken at the same time, same day. So uh, I want to uh, put all our stakeholders on notice. Uh, we are going up to the um, ch chicken and grain project very shortly, or look, look. And then uh, we are looking at a grain opening for this <coughs> project and that project at the same time. This is a very, very important national government impact project. Uh, we are looking at about 100 plus jobs here, permanent jobs in the nursery. We'll also have a farmer training school here. We are going to insist that the Kako board arranges for farmer training school, so all the training will be done for farmers here before we uh, distribute seedlings, so they know what to do with the seedlings. We want to do intensive uh, for farming in the district, and obviously Kako board is a national program and throughout our province, and Wesipik as well. So this nursery will supply East Wesipik, Bideng and Morobe. That's the, that's the plan. And as I was saying, when I was still the, the planning minister, the intention is to start a Highlands Regional Nursery and a Southern Regional Nursery, but we, we need to complete this one before we move to the next one. And uh, once I'm no, no longer the Minister of Planning, I will work very closely with the new minister and the government to make sure we, uh, we complete this project and open it and, and show the rest of the country what a regional nursery will look like and hopefully we'll, we'll inspire the rest of our, our country to to support such a big intervention program in other regions, especially in the highlands and uh, in the southern region, where we need to uh, introduce cocoa as a major commercial crop in Papua New Guinea. Currently, last year, they estimated that the total cocoa production in, in terms of beans in Papua New Guinea is sitting at around 44,000 metric tons. Uh, government is keen to bring that up to beyond 100, go up to 200, 300. Without regional nurseries, we are not going to get there. This is the most effective way to do it. So we look after quality, we look at disease. And it's important that uh, properly trained agronomists and staff from the cocoa board manage this research. So we keep our diseases out like cocoa board dora and other diseases. So we're not affected by that again. So with that, I want to thank uh, the cocoa board for the job. Please 
keep focus. We want to bring the other uh, sickness region and the contractors who are building the club houses. I also want to thank HBS today and encourage the Coco Port to please make the down payment so they can complete the rest of the roadworks here. Maybe HBS may want to say something about your involvement and, and, and the program and uh, what's the next, next stage of your involvement in this project. Yeah, well, uh, Honourable Minister, we're, uh, the next process is uh, road construction. All the civil works is 80% um, done, mainly just the pavements. The other five nurseries, plus we've got to locate the next sixth one in a, a new location, which um, we'll go through with the uh, Coco Board. Um, other than that, yes, we're all ready to go. As soon as um, everything's allocated, we're right to get back to work. Thank you.